got off my show, the price he gave me, D Lo went up two times that. I was gonna ask you, yeah. can you can you like not even for your particular show, but like where you think his price kind of started at and where you kinda think it is right now? So to to book D Lo for a show. So honestly, when I booked D Lo, D Lo was was nine grand. Nine grand. I gave okay. him nine grand. Okay. I kid you not. I swear that's low now. And that's listen, low. Listen, I bought D Lo in September for nine grand. When it came to November, time out his manager, I tried to get another I got another show the next day in Duval. And the only reason they gave me my same price because it was me. And he was like, boom. But somebody else, it was fifteen grand. The next, the next day his price went to fifteen. <laughs> the next day he went to fifteen grand. By by I bought him back. Pro Bowl. Pro Bowl is in January. Yeah. He was at thirty thousand dollars from 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 Thanksgiving, from, from Thanksgiving basically to, to January. To, yep, went from nine to the to, to twenty. <laughs> what you said? Thirty. Was at 30. 30. Yeah. Ooh. Damn. Yeah. He was at thirty thousand right now. D Lo done. I done seen D Lo done got a hundred grand for a show. Say so you been you been DJing now for a while. You you out of you out of prison. You been DJing for a while. What 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 artists have you come across, whether in concerts or shows or whatever around town? You know, what are some of the bigger name artists you you you, you come across? Well, um, I came across a lot, bro, artist wise. But I think the biggest that everybody know, uh, the biggest who I got a good relationship with and came across before he got big was Boss Man D-Lo. Man, he was straight. We and tight. It was before he got big. Yeah, like I did D-Lo. I did um, I did D-Lo last Thanksgiving before he got on this wave. But D-Lo, me and D-Lo been talking in the DM for a little minute. Like, yeah. Cool. I'm saying it was just on some. It wasn't no homeboy type thing. It was on some artists trying to get his music out. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, bro, send me this. He sent me music. We got a few text messages, but it ain't like no day to day homeboy. Right. We got a good relationship. Now, now, so when that relationship first started, when you first met him, what what was it on? Like he was trying to get his music played, yeah, so, or so, did he have um, a show in town? So um, for people, so D-Lo came to my show. Last November, last Thanksgiving. When you say your show, what you mean? You I do, yeah, yeah. So okay. no, so um, I booked D-Lo. Okay. I booked D-Lo. That was one of my first bookings. Um, I booked D-Lo last last. I booked him last September for Thanksgiving. Okay. okay. So um, as his as his music is growing, but prior to that, D-Lo was here two three times already. He was still a, a newcoming artist. He wasn't at that that bubbling spot. He did guilt with me. They did a showcase with Melo, did a, uh, did something like, not a showcase, but a, a Florida run with okay. all the artists that was grinding in Florida. So we did that at Gilt. Then he came to uh, my partner, Africa Black, had Tuesday, Dollar Tuesday. He did a show. His rise was still this here. So I was sitting one down, I was sitting one, in men's closet, and I'm telling Hot Rod, like, man, we can get d -Lo. I'm telling you, he going to be hot by then. He going he gonna to be he gonna be there. So everybody like, you think so? I'm like, man, I wrote him. You know what I'm saying? I hit him. Bro, what you gonna charge me? He send me he send me the price, like, bro, give me this. I'm like, all right, bet. But he like, just send me a deposit so we can lock in. Because due to the fact that classic is the week before Thanksgiving. Okay. And I'm I'm hitting him in September, so I'm like, let me go and beat him to the punch. So he won't be here classic. So I locked him in, we did it. The show went excellent. I promise you. Right after D Lo got off my show, the price he gave me, D Lo went up two times that. I was gonna day. ask you, can you can you like not even for your particular show, but like where you think his price kind of started at and where you kind of think it is right now? So, to, to book D Lo for a show. So, honestly, when I booked D Lo, D Lo was, was nine grand. Nine grand. I gave okay. him nine grand. Okay. I kid you not. I swear That's low now. And that's low. Listen, I booked D Lo in September for nine grand. When it came to November, time out, his manager, I tried to get another, I got another show the next day in Duval. And the only reason they gave me my same price because it was me. And he was like, boom. But somebody else, it was 15 grand. The next, the next day, his price went to 15 <laughs> The next day, he went to 15 grand. By, by, I bought him back. Pro Bowl. Pro Bowl is in January. Yeah. He was at $30,000. From, 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 from Thanksgiving, from Thanksgiving basically, to, to January. So, yep. Went from 9 to, to, to 20. <laughs> what you said? 30. It was at 30. 30. Yeah. Ooh. Damn. Yeah. He was at 30000 Right now? D Lo done, I done seen D Lo done got a hundred grand for a show. Damn. Yeah. Like so Orlando watched it. So hands down, we watched D Lo become a mean now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. hands down, that ain't no deal, no nothing. You watched him make a million dollars on the road. Yeah. And his grind is me like I got a grind in the DJ world. His grind is a, in that in that rap world is crazy. Yeah. 
Like he having one of the run. This might be one of the greatest runs this he's gonna a, ever see. This is a hell of a run, and right people don't here. understand that. Run, like, man. cause we're in society right now, so people don't look at it like you're looking at greatness. Yeah, you look at greatness. The man been rapping and got within the last six months he put out an album. All this, he got four plats in yeah. six months. Yeah. yeah, you got artists that been out twenty years ain't got a plat. Right. Yeah. Yeah, and he start. It, he started bubbling kind of late, right? How, how yeah, old was he when he started? He's been rapping. He right. just switched it. D-Lo went to prison. He just switched his flow up. When he switched his flow up, it caught. Took off. Yeah. It caught. It was different. Like, if you look at, you go look at his, you can look at him on YouTube. He got old music. Yeah. But it, he switched his flow up. And when he switched his flow, really what people <laughs> fail to realize, it's crazy how it sounds. And I say this all the time to rappers, try to help rappers out on his music. If you ain't got your own lane, find your own lane. D-Lo found what was missing, talking about money. If you hear what he, he's not talking about killing, spinning, bang, bang, shoot him up. He talking about getting them some money. Yeah. A person that clock in on a nine to five, they getting some money. Yeah. Everybody can relate in life can relate to what he's saying. Yeah, right. Get them some money. Yeah. Yeah, and he, I ain't gonna say, you know, when he start bubbling, like really, really bubbling, it was a natural thing for the drill music to kind of drill music was already kind of going out and I'll say in Florida it was still decent like right now I I think drill music in Florida is it's dead it's dead so if you listen to him you everybody using that lingo now they're using his lingo baby yeah they're trying to be on that cadence of his yeah but it's like it's too late yeah it's too late to try to take the cadence because in all honesty you got you got four top people out of Florida man and of my generation let me rephrase that yeah yeah of my generation you got Kodak yeah he in his own lane. Rod Wave. On lane. On lane. Boston Richie, his own little lane. Yeah. Then you got D Lo. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I agree with that. Now you got you got one more coming up now. And I think he in his own lane, flow wise anyway, and that's La Tyler. Yeah, Lat but he see La Tyler at least he, I feel like La Tyler is my generation, but he's still a generation under me. No, he is, he is. So no, but no, 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 but no, when it comes to his lane, said, come you know, he he's he in his own lane. So you got different lanes, but it's like rappers are trying they bouncing. They don't know what they want to do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Can, can so they, yeah. it's hard. You got to find a sound and stick with it and, and master that sound. You can't make a song today talking like this, then come over here and talk. It might work. It might not. But your fans are going to be confused on what you're trying to put out. Like, hey, they ain't care what he's doing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? As in Raw Wave, everybody, you can, people can hate Raw Wave. <laughs> <laughs> All they know is he's going to be sad. And he's <laughs> feelings. But guess what? That's what, that sad. what made Raw Wave Raw yeah. Wave. Yeah. Yeah. Kodak, you don't know what to expect. Yeah. But that's what made Yak. Yeah, that's what yeah. made him who he is. Yeah. So it's like for D Lo, guess what they gonna say? But he gonna talk about getting that money. <laughs> he gonna motivate you, bro. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. yeah, that's what it is. Nah, that's a real good point, though. That's 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 a real good point. But what I think one, once you start to bubble, though, you gotta stay specifically with that. Yeah. yeah. Now that's you have an audience, and you they're you're they're fucking with your content. They're, that's what they're expecting. Yeah, right. You know, they they want you to deliver that. They, now, if you get to a certain level, you can maybe kind of switch things up to be fresh or new or whatever. But at that point, you've got a base of fans that are your people. Yeah, you know, and you could take them somewhere. Yeah. But when you're somebody that's just starting to go, once you hit something, you got to ride that for a bit. Yeah, yeah. What where where you where you think D-Lo can go from here? Um, bro, D-Lo. Yeah. I, me personally, bro, he can go to the, he he, he going to be here a while. Like I told you my homeboy. he going to be here for a minute? So my homeboy, so I ain't going to say who it was. Yeah. Because it's, that's my homeboy. So it's like, but he didn't see D-Lo going this far. Yeah, some people thought he was going to so, be so, in and so, out and, real and, quick. And, like, he, like, man, we used to argue. Because he's like, boy, you a D-Lo die I'm like, nigga, he ain't, but listen, he <laughs> fine, I'm telling you now. Yeah, so yeah. he used to argue, we used to argue about it. Because he's like, oh, he ain't going to have no run. I'm like, bro, this one I knew he was going to have a run. He called me. Jam and D-Lo. <laughs> Boy, this record here. When I heard, that's when I knew. When I seen D-Lo touched him with that song, yeah, yeah. I say, yeah, he he gonna be big because that's funny. this a hard critic, bro. He's a hard critic to win yeah. over on music. Yeah. And when he went to jam, he like, well, he talking that getting money. And when he was talking <laughs> like that, I'm like, yeah. But D-Lo gonna be here for a while because, bro, like honestly, it's nobody really talking about getting getting. It's he's a South rapper that we can relate to his lingo. And he talking like getting money and the beats be good. You know what I'm saying? He yeah. got a, he got a combination of everything, bro. He do, he do. He got a combination of everything. He actually, uh, he actually in the city right now. He doing a, a video with Ten. 
I don't know if I'm letting the cat out the bag. Uh, <laughs> oh, no, yeah, the song, yeah. the song not released yet, but they doing a, a video for the song right now with 10. percent You know what I mean? Of CMG. So yeah, I be, yeah. be man. Listen, he it's working. Crazy. Man. D-Lo be here all the time. He been Orlando all the time. D-Lo pop up the men's closet, random day. I, you, I they used to say that uh, like Orlando used like Orlando is known for how, how should I say this? Like when when an artist is at that level, like when Kodak was at that level, that boss man that. Like he would, that like Orlando would pull him here, like try to pull him in every weekend when so, he was like whatever within five and ten k a show, you know. They Orlando the would with run. Boss, listen, Orlando will run an artist to the ground. That's what I'm saying. That's what like, they said. I'm I'm, I'm 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 in the promoter world. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you why though. I'm gonna be honest with you though, because Orlando is is sad to say. It's sad to say. Orlando don't get behind their own like they get behind an out of towner. Okay. So as a promoter and a DJ. You gotta take advantage. <laughs> I gotta take advantage of that because guess what? The artist that's coming in, he's popping, but he's not charging me an arm and a leg. And the Orlando gonna keep coming to see him. Yeah. So it's like, as a bit, you can't look at it personally. You gotta look at it as a business standpoint. Business standpoint, you're in the business to make money, not lose money. So if I keep booking this artist and y'all gonna keep paying me to come see this same artist, doing yeah. the same song. Cause like you said, you had him, <laughs> you had him the one month, Bro, and you brought him back the next month, month to bought, do the I, same I bought, song. I bought him November. <laughs> I bought him back January. Him and YTB Fat. Yeah, you know YTB I mean? Fat came like in October, November. Bought them back together, but they the song. So yeah, it's just yeah. crazy because yeah. you go see them. That is that's what it is. So it's like as a business, you can't look at it as a promote as a businessman. You gonna invest your money. Yeah. I'm gonna keep investing into the same person if y'all gonna keep spending and come seeing the same person. Yeah, yeah. You, you just want to make money. That's, that's what it's about, making yeah, money. That's it. That's All right. It.